Climate change is rapidly melting ice in the Arctic and opening up new seaways, creating emerging security and economic threats to NATO allies. Russia has capitalized on this new territory through rapid expansion in the area by increasing resource extraction, constructing new military bases, and boosting both economic and military vessel traffic within the region. Meanwhile, NATO allies have so far only conducted surveillance and training activities. Presently, NATO has fallen behind Russia in Arctic security capabilities. If swift action is not taken, the entire alliance remains at risk. NATO must establish a formal Arctic policy that includes the augmentation of armed military presence in the region in order to deter Russian aggression and to prepare for for potential engagement with Russia along with other actors interested in the strategic opportunities offered by the continued opening of the Arctic. Russia is already far ahead of most NATO alliance members. The nation singularly has more ice-breaking vessels than the NATO alliance. The next generation of Russian ice-breaking vessels includes the Project Patrol Ship, which will feature a hangar for anti-submarine helicopters and the capacity to launch medium-range missiles. The vessel will have the ability to transport helicopters, missiles, and other equipment throughout the Arctic. Currently, NATO includes five members with proximity share in the Arctic, Canada, Denmark, Iceland, Norway, and the United States. All are members of the Arctic Council, which also includes Russia and a number of NATO partner states such as Finland and Sweden. Although all near-Arctic NATO members and partners have acknowledged Russia's swift expansion in the area, there is disagreement on how best to respond. Some NATO states, such as Norway, have expressed the need for the alliance to make intentional preparation for potential engagement with Russia and efforts to deter Russia from attempting to take over the Arctic region. Moreover, these states have stressed the importance of improving the alliance's technological capabilities. Such improvements include developing and increasing the use of aircraft as well as as land and sea vessels operational in severe weather conditions in the region while improving and maintaining interoperability among the technologies used by member states. In contrast, other states like Canada are against the militarization of the Arctic region, preferring to deter Russian aggression while maintaining the Arctic as a research and economic zone. This lack of consensus on how to proceed has been the primary hindrance to NATO action in response to Russia's activities in the Arctic. Aside from the Russian threat in the Arctic, there are two main issues impacting NATO activities in the area, which include the lack of a clear formalized NATO policy for the region and legal ambiguity on territorial rights in the region. Following ample research, primary recommendations include that the Alliance come to a consensus on how it would like to handle the Arctic region, whether it's militarization or continued monitoring. Create a formal written Arctic policy for the NATO Alliance informed by recommendations from the Arctic Council. This should include language regarding the interconnectedness of the economic, political, and military strategies of the NATO Alliance and Arctic Council members. Develop Arctic operational technologies for air, land, and sea, and ensure interoperability between nations' vessels. Continue joint training exercises such as Trident Juncture to prepare the Alliance and its troops for operations in the Arctic. Expand the Alliance's fleet of ice-breaking vessels. Further develop anti-submarine systems equipped to deter and engage the next generation of Russian stealth submarines. 
The implementation of these recommendations would strengthen NATO's presence in the Arctic and fulfill the organization's commitment to developing new defense strategies to emerging threats. Russia's power projection cannot continue to expand unchallenged. It is imperative that NATO takes action to deter this projection and ensure alliance readiness for potential military engagement in the region.